Thank you to those in uniform because tonight or last night South Africa slept peacefully knowing that we have men and women guarding the borders of this beautiful country. May there be harmony in all celestial objects and perfection in the eternal knowledge. May everything in this universe be peaceful and may that peace pervade everywhere. Our armed forces are manned by volunteers. The guardians of our liberties deserve the admiration and respect of those they defend and Armed Forces Day provides each of us with an opportunity to express our appreciation to them and to their families. The interfaith service today as part of the Armed Forces Day should be dedicated to the groundbreaking work of this dedicated group, those. <laughs> Let it be clear that our national pride is the South African National Defence Force, without any doubt. And for me, it is a true privilege to exercise my, first, my very first duty as the President of the Republic by coming to this service and being in your presence and also having participated in taking the salute from you all. So this, for me, is a real honor. On Wednesday, the 21st of February, our nation will observe South Africa's Armed Forces Day. The marking of the 21st February allows our nation never to forget the heroic sacrifices of our soldiers. Soldiers who died that faithful, fateful morning when the SS Mendy sank in the English Channel. It is a reminder that brave men and women continue to put their lives on the line to secure the hard-won freedoms and defend our Constitution. And you are, you are those brave men and women who continue to put your lives on the line so that we can sleep peacefully at night knowing that we are well protected as South Africans and we say thank you to all of you. Even more significant, these celebrations, because they occur in a year when South Africa commemorates the centenary birthday of our first Commander-in-Chief, President Nelson Kholitlatha Mandela. It is this SANDF, the People's National Defense Force, that our founding father, President Nelson Mandela, envisaged as a nonpartisan unifier and a defender of all South Africans. President Mandela left all of us a coherent SANDF whose task is to diligently safeguard the sovereignty and the territorial integrity of the Republic, to build peace, and to support development on the African continent. This SANDF will never get involved in politics. This SANDF is there to protect the people of South Africa, whoever the Commander-in-Chief is of our country. We pay tribute to the men and women who wear the SANDF uniform and bear arms on behalf of South Africans. Your patriotism is felt throughout our country. We applaud you for the demonstration 
of solidarity you are displaying in a number of African countries as you participate in peace missions where you are distinguishing yourselves as the soldiers of our country, as dedicated and outstanding members of the South African National Defense Force.